everyone, Jag Tagger 93 here, another Quake map. This one is called Hello by Kevin Rowling. Um, I was playing this one and I really am confused by it for a number of reasons. Um, first of all, the name Hello. Okay, hi. Uh, second of all, the layout of this map and how it's presented is just really bizarre. We got a full bright environment here, but. A lot of the maps, or a lot of the uh, areas later on in this map, are very dark, um, and their structure has very specific challenges. And the design of this map is just very, very sloppy, but so sloppy it comes across as almost kind of creepy. And what makes this map even creepier is that about ten years later, after this map was released, it was released in '96, in 2007, an unknown author re-released it with um, slightly different uh, environment uh, textures but why anyone would want to re-release this map I don't know why it's called hello I, I do not know um, why it looks like this I do not know uh, we have our different rooms each guarded by a shambler there but what we're really supposed to do is go through this portal here uh, the map starts off with two ogres one I already took out and the other one right over here. Alright, got him. Let's go to our first challenge area. Which is to walk across this extremely narrow uh, path here. And not fall into the lava. And visit the volcano god. By the way, there's six secrets in this map. I've not found a single one. Because this map has a very high risk uh, factor to it. Um, where you don't want to go exploring. Next room is pitch black, except for some suspiciously lit areas. I do not know why this area is lit. There's a clear light source, the torch there, but... I've knocked around there before with an axe. I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. This area here is brightly lit, but no clear light source. The only reason why that's lit is for the player perspective to look over here. While you're looking over here, you completely miss there. There's our teleporter, but if you look carefully, see that? You can just see the shadow of a fiend. There's a few of them right over there. So we're going to take them out and dart to the uh, exit there. First, I do want to knock around over here real quick. Okay. Good thing that we didn't alarm the fiends by doing that. Alright, let's do it. Okay, I'll stand here and telefrag the rest of them. Yep. Alright. Now, this area here is very bizarre. It's extremely narrow corridors. And if you're not careful, you'll come face to face with a Chandler or three, as you'll see. There's some openings here, they're easy to miss. I hate having to use ammunition as a flashlight though. Alright, we are supposed to go this way. There's a totally unnecessary path you can go over this way, but that leads you to a Chandler fight that, oh and a knight, that as far as I can tell leads you to a dead end that you don't need to take on. What you're supposed to do is go this way, and be very careful, because there's two shamblers right over there. Beeline and pray, and then you're fine. Keep going, because those shamblers will follow you. This room is spooky. Keep going. Okay. And then we're here. Alright, now we're in this area here, which looks very odd. Uh, just a row of zombies run this way here. Follow the uh, torches as best you can. The rockets offer some light for you to follow, but you have to be very careful with them. Alright, we got some fiends here. Uh, don't have to take them all out. Hopefully they will catch a grenade or five and be distracted with that. 
But you gotta keep moving. Alright, here. I'm not sure where to go. Okay, here. Nice. Alright, and here's some Shamblers up ahead. We can sneak by them without having to fight them. See, just like that. Completely unnecessary. And this huge wall isn't actually a wall, it's just one big teleporter. And that's the map. Uh, really weird. Uh, I know, I know I rushed through that one really quickly, I didn't really get to explore it. Um, I'm going to show you the updated version from 2007, and I'm going to put on God Mode and No Clip, and we're going to explore that one a little deeper, okay, and see what it's all about. Maybe find some of those secrets. Alright, stay tuned, gotta switch the map. everyone we are back uh with hello the 2007 edition let me take out this ogre real quick all right and as you can see the uh, lava looks different it looks almost like blood actually um this area is full bright just like it was in the original we got our doorbell shotgun shell second ogre over here all right um, those are our shamblers. And yeah, um, you know, just to expand more on my thoughts of the original map and this one, um, you know, uh, this map is just ugly. Even the updated version is just very not good aesthetically. Um, start off in a full bright environment, but a lot of them are way too dark and just bizarrely thrown together really but it's so bizarrely thrown together so ugly so garish so ugh, that it almost has its own charm i mean this is what we're looking at right here really is i think the christmas sweater of uh quake maps um yeah we are back here with hello uh and again this was uploaded in 2007 by an unknown author uh very bizarre that someone you know 10 plus years later would want to re-upload the map with different textures um nothing was uploaded in 2017 2018 as of yet but just so weird i mean if it was the original author that uploaded it you know 10 plus years later you think they would have updated it or something but no uh the game this map plays pretty much exactly like how the original one played so we're going to put on um, God Mode and no clip and just kind of fly around this map here and uh, see what it has to offer. We're going to do this room by room actually. So first room, we're looking around and we got a torch floating here in midair. Why? Maybe there's an invisible platform? Nope, nope. No, torch just floating for no reason. Why is there a torch here? I do not know. This area is Fulbright, so you don't need a torch there. I see a thunderbolt down underneath this platform. How you get it, I don't quite know. Yeah, these are the Shamblers. Such a weird map. Alright. I don't really remember all the console commands off in my head. I remember give ammo. Will give us nails. So I thought it would. 
Maybe not. I don't know, I'm rusty. With my console commands, but... Yeah, there's our rocket launcher down over here. Not sure how you're supposed to get that, though. Maybe... This is lava, so I'm guessing maybe there's a, a pentagram of protection somewhere, maybe? And you can walk over to it? This map is just so bizarre. It really is. Uh, oh, there's a pentagram protection. Uh, fire just coming from nowhere. Okay. Shambler. Looks like this is the hallway that um you come to with the different shamblers, actually. How you get from one room to another, I'm not sure. There's a really cryptic nature of this map that is kind of cool, actually. Um, I just wish that the, uh, the map maker, the author, uh, showed a little more imagination in the department of how to guide the player through the map to incentivize finding those secrets. Um, just so bizarre. I see a, te a teleporter here. Alright, that's how we get that. And then we go through here, and then we end up here, and then we find our another secret area, okay. That takes us here. To this room. Okay. And if I was to turn off no clip. This is our room. This is the spooky room. I remember. Um, I think I liked how it looked in the uh, original more, actually. It looked a lot creepier in the original uh, than it does here. Is there anything at all to this room, though, besides that one teleporter? We got flames, or some sort of flicker of embers coming through the floor. Probably a, uh, a torch underneath. Yeah, a torch. And we're in this room here, okay. How? There's no teleporter there, though. That's weird. Alright, the progression is just so bizarre here. Um, even with no clip, I don't think I can figure it all out. And I'm not even sure if it's all working. For all we know, the map could be broken. Just check and see if there's anything underneath the uh, lava blood. I don't think there is, but... Wow. Again, this map really is the Christmas sweater of Quake maps. It's so ugly, so thrown together, and yet I can't help but keep playing this mess. Alright, and then we come to this area here with the walls. Yeah. Oh boy.
then this will bring us to the final series of areas, I think. Yeah. This is just so bizarre. Why this path here is lit, I do not know. Um, why does this map have to be so dark? I do not know. There's so much with this map that just doesn't make sense. I, 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 I'm, I'm at a loss for words. I, I really have no idea what I'm looking at. Yeah, this is the part with the ogres. Uh, there's flames just floating in the middle midair no torches nothing lonely chant lonely a uh, fiend there almost called him a shambler then we come here this is where the shamblers are where you don't have to fight them at all you can just walk right by them and that's the exit this map is just so wow I um I don't know if this is genius or shit. It's, I mean, it's just so ugly. It's just so terrible. Uh, the first area is just brightly lit, full bright actually. Then the rest of the map is just very dark. Leads to a lot of cheap deaths. Um, and it, at the same time, it gives this ambience, this atmosphere of creepiness actually it, it, this map is so and the original too is just they're just so broken and so ugly that they come across as strange I can't I, I, I that's the best way I can put it and the complete lack of any care of setting and ambience the complete lack of care for any kind of theme to this map gives it its own bizarre theme um, I, I don't know if it's intentional Someone must have appreciated it, because again, this map is the 2007 version. Someone out there must have loved the original Hello so much that they just had to re-upload it. It just, just wow. Um, there is something to having a map with challenge sections. I always love that in maps, actually. Uh, having different rooms, with each room having its own specific theme and its own specific challenge. That's really well done. And to see that in a 1996 map is really cool, actually. That's really innovative. So it really... The author, the original author, definitely had some really cool ideas. But... Uh, just... Jesus. I mean, look! I... I uh, okay, I mean, I, I, I my, my brain's broken, because this map has such good ideas, and is so brilliant in its badness, and yet I can't really recommend this map on its merits, but it does have to be experienced. Um, overall, I rate this one a 4 out of 10. Technically, it's, it's marred. Um, there's secrets here that are nice to find, but there's really no incentive to go looking. There's a lot of insta-deaths as well, too. Uh, it's very cheap, very ugly to look at. The enemy placement is just bizarre. The entire map is bizarre in a nutshell. That being said, I do recommend picking up and playing it, either the original version or the 2007 version. Um, it just has to be experienced. It really does. Uh, and that's really all I can say about it, really. Uh, thank you all for watching. This is Jagtagger93 signing out. Have a good one.